What is this? Fast forward. It's literally six hours of our house. Why would somebody do that? Film it and then leave the evidence on the front doorstep? Unsettle you, let you know you're being watched. Yeah, but why a videotape? Why something so anachronistic? Maybe it's just a prank. If it was, it was an elaborate one. Over the next few days, then weeks, more and more citizens of Riverdale received copies of similar tapes, footage of their houses being watched from across the street for hours upon hours. No messages were included with the videos, which somehow made the whole thing even more disturbing. After a brief hiatus, Riverdale's watcher in the burbs had released his much anticipated follow-up. In the dead of night, a second round of voyeuristic videotapes had been left on doorsteps across town. Once again, VCRs were dusted off with dread. And once again, they played hours upon hours of footage of the viewer's home. Only this time, the camera was much, much closer. The implications were terrifying. What was next for the watcher? Breaking and entering? Turning the temperature up? ever so slowly so that by the time we frogs realized we were being boiled alive it was too late we thought it was going to be like the other tapes at first Here, we had a case of art imitating death, a snuff film that showed Jason Blossom being murdered by dear old dad, and a bizarre recreation of it. Maybe it's another copycat? Maybe it's an invitation. Yeah, but where? That place doesn't even look like it's in Riverdale. No, but I've seen this place before. Though Jughead Jones has had an incredibly difficult year, as you know, and I've only interacted with him a scant few times. He is a special kid, and he is a superb writer. But he needs a break, he needs good teachers, and a healthy environment, which I know the University of Iowa can provide. I don't say this lightly, but I do believe Jughead Jones will be an important voice of his generation. If you'd like to discuss him further, please call me at any time. All my best to you and Edith. Sincerely, Holden Honey.
did it. He's finally got in the house. Wait, that's me. Okay, that's it. We're getting out of here. We have to leave now. Once the simple voyeur footage wasn't making enough of an impact, especially to me, she decided to up the game. Guys, I have an idea. Let's make a movie, a real movie. That first recreation, you remember it? It was Betty and I. She wanted to get my attention and it worked. I ended up breaking into Riverdale High to recreate that Killing Mr. Honey video. After she snuck onto my laptop to read the story I was working on. Where did they do all this? And then David, before he was killed by Charles, gave them permission to shoot the prom massacre video inside the Scarlet Suite. And that one was bad, but not nearly as bad as the one of Mr. Andrews being shot by the Black Hood. And the video inside our house? And that was her and Ricky, too. But she did all this to keep you in Riverdale. That's what she told me.